What do you know that's not secondhand? So your name is secondhand. It was given to you. It's not original. You didn't come in and I didn't show up and say, hey, everybody, I'd like you to call me Michael, please. We're interested in this meeting in what's not secondhand, not mediated. Already the case. And so the beauty of already the case is there's nothing to do. Or as I posted today, what does nothing have to do to become nothing? <clears throat> I'm going to uh -huh. bite on the question about what's not secondhand, even though I think I know what you're going to say. Okay, go for it, Joe. <laughs> pain in the body like when you break a bone <laughs> what? Is you, there, what are you at? Is it? that's not second hand right that well I think I know what you're gonna say but for, to me that's first hand like I totally get the name thing I totally any thought I've ever had is not original like it's, it's because of, or I, that comes like, but like pain, that feels like something you can tell me about pain, but I can only experience it. Does that make sense? Myself? Yeah, yeah, this is great. I'm loving this. So let's go into this. Wait, you have to unmute because we're going to talk. Okay. I have questions. So who... See, this isn't about denial. I want to be really clear. Everything is allowed to express. Everything. The only thing is, we're investigating whether whatever is happening has an owner. Like, take sound. Who... Who owns sound? So if intuitively you sense that there is something that creates all the sounds, whether it's a cricket or a monkey or a raccoon, there it is, she's got her raccoon park on. Maybe we could say the, the author of all sound is the same one. See, the illusion is that if Michael's speaking, then I'm making the sound. And then if Dan starts speaking, that will be Dan making the sound. That's the illusion. No separation.
So yeah, that pain can be there, Joe, for sure. No denial of the pain. But if we look, can we actually find an owner? And find a thought. Yes, that's my pain. I'm the one experiencing it. Well, come out then. Show yourself. There's nothing there. It's, it's a phantom. But it has to be investigated uh, directly by, by you. You have to investigate it yourself. No, no one... No one can do it for you. So you don't even want to go to, to mind because all those thoughts are stuff you, well, secondhand. Your mind is filled with secondhand information that you learned along the way, apparently. Oh, I see a hand up. Look at that. Dale? Yes. Um, just wanted to say, in, in the same way that sounds can appear to be on top of sounds, it's similar in the way that thoughts can appear to be more than one and on top of thoughts. Wait, was that a question or a, a comment? It, it's just something that I noticed. Um, they're Hello, quite how are you? Hello, how are you guys today doing? Hello, how are you? Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, guys. We're getting Zoom bombed, so I'm not going to let these people in. There's about 10 people in the waiting room, and we've been Zoom bombed before, so we'll just keep going. Go ahead. No, I just wondered if there was anything you could shed light on there with the fact that Let you sounds yourself. Can appear I'm sorry, somebody snuck in. Shut your bitch ass up, you fucking nigga. Okay, I think I got rid of it. Uh, my apologies. That's okay. So sounds can appear to be on top of sounds in the same way thoughts can appear to be on top of thoughts and it can be... When you say on, on top, what do you mean, Dale, on top? More than one sound happening at the same time. More than one thought happening at the same time. Well, I would say you're only... It's really only one thought at a time or one sound at a time. They may come bang, bang, you know, they may feel rapid, like on, I, I get what you're saying. Like they, it can feel, you know, especially if they're overwhelming, you know, if what I call spinning, but really it's just, it's just one thought. Okay, thank you. So the question we're asking is, do we can say the same thing we did about sound with thoughts? Do, do, it's really good to go into this for yourself. Do thoughts have an owner? Who owns thoughts? So then you have to consider that the pain, that the pain is a thought. Um,
it's just what it is. I mean, it can be accompanied by thought, like I wish this damn pain would stop, or it could just be the burning pain, the raw searing pain. So I guess Joe is referring to the raw searing pain uh, before there's any reflection on it. Right, that's why I'm, I recommend let's look for the owner. We're not, so there's no denial. That's the beauty of this message. It doesn't deny, deny your experience one bit. It's whatever you're experiencing exactly as you're experiencing is exactly what's happening. We're just investigating whether it's really happening to me. Is that true? Is there a me in the body that is the kind of recipient and the manager? So, sorry, let me just rock this for a second. I think we should probably mute everybody else just because there's a lot of feedback, by the way. I don't know if every, um, anyone who's not on mute can, can just mute themselves. It'll help with the feedback. Um, but like, so what, what Corey was saying is true. Like I was talking about like, I've got this pain right now in my left index finger and it's just like that burning joint pain that, you know, so there's no Joanna to have that pain. You're saying it's just pain. It's just there. It's, it's, it is what is in the moment. Well, I'm actually saying a little more than that. I, I mean, I am saying that, but I'm saying, and it has to be more than that. I'm saying we actually have to look. So this Joanna is a good, I, I'm glad we brought this up because it, it's not good enough intellectual just to agree, as you know, just to agree with non-duality statements isn't enough. So that's why, you know, Inkosi, when he's working with Alice, will encourage her, look now, look for yourself. So that's really what we're talking about, Joanna, is not just going, well, there's nobody there. No, no, let's look right now, at what's looking out your eyes. What's seeing, is there anything back there? Can you find in any kind of entity that's looking out your eyes? There's like a million little characters all going, no, no, there's no, no, I don't see anything. <laughs> okay, so can we call those thoughts? Yes. I mean, there's something observing those. I mean, there's something just witnessed all of that little chatter in my mind, but I don't know what that observer thing is. Mm. I, whatever, the, the voice that's coming out of the mouth right now does not know what that observer thing is. What's making the voice come out of your mouth right now? No idea. If I knew that, it wouldn't say half the crap it says. <laughs> because I would be having a talk with it. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'd probably put a muzzle on it. Actually, if I could, <laughs> I have a big mouth. I really shouldn't live in New York. Jo Joanna, who, who, who is that voice talking to? Who is in there that it's speaking to? <laughs> I that I can't even I can't even wrap my mind around that question. I have no idea what you're saying. All right. Well, do you want to meditate on that, and I'll go to yes, Guy, yeah. Guy Lane. Okay, Elaine. Hi. Uh, it seems like it's an immediacy, in immediate, like spontaneity. Everything is like this. You have nothing to do. <laughs> when there is a me, 
the, the troubles begin because we shouldn't have said that, we shouldn't not be that, or, but everything happens all every millisecond, tiny, tiny second. So we cannot just contain, it's like life is not contained. It's the way the message is speaking what I understand and I like about it. It's so, uh, you know, <laughs> you don't have to, that's okay, everything is okay. Pain, I have a, a great, great, great friend now is at the hospital and I'm pretty sad because he's losing, um, he's old and he had to have a sur surgery and now is doing delirium, you know, he's, he's not there in his mind. And it's difficult. It's like, oh my God. But since I've heard this message, everything is okay. Even the, oh my God, even the, the panic, even everything. So that's beautiful. I don't have to contain anything. I can speak badly in English, doesn't matter. <laughs> I can have any, any ideas, uh, you can have any sounds, it can happen anything. The worst, the, the best, everything is okay with this message. And I have nothing to do with that. I'm just like, wow, that's the beauty of this message. So, I very happy to disappear. <laughs> Garlene, can you show yeah. Nkosi your your what you're oh, wearing? Oh, Nkosi is there. Okay, I yeah. just hide Nkosi. Look what I I brought with me tonight. These are raccoons. Wow! <laughs> Especially for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so that's what that's all I wanted to to say about what you said. I'm just so much yeah. joy about this message I can tell. So uh, I'm 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 only enjoying that right now. So <laughs> <laughs> If anybody has a question for Nkosi, feel free to unmute and ask.
So in Kosi, our topic for tonight was uh, that which is not secondhand, that which is not secondhand. Like you were asking Alice about her name and said, well, you didn't come here with that. That wasn't your idea to call yourself Alice. So that's a great example of secondhand. And also, what about thoughts? Are thoughts not secondhand? Uh, yeah, they they they, they are, cause you know, uh, cause there's only this, this, whatever appears is this, but thoughts in a way they seem to be late, in the sense that uh, uh, when the thought arises that says, uh, how can I get this? Uh, it, it seems to be late because this is right here. It's always this. So I thought that says, how can I get this? <laughs> yeah, it seems to be <laughs> a second hand because there's always this. There's never been anything else but this. So anything may arise. Thought may say, uh, I've got it. Uh, I'm not getting it. I lost it. <laughs> How can I find it? <laughs> so <laughs> this is always here, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> it cannot be lost. You know? Yeah, so I, I think, cannot... um, so I was going to say, I think part of your point is if it's already here, then what would you need a thought for? Exactly. Thoughts are not required. They may appear, but they're just thoughts. They don't mean anything. And this as well doesn't mind the thoughts. Because these thoughts are, are also an uh, expression of this. So as I always say, there is no separation. So they, they, there is no real, real somebody who's looking for this. It's just looking, but nobody's looking. <laughs> it's just searching, but nobody's searching. The looking and the searching does imply that there's really somebody who's looking. It's just looking, happening. It seems to happen. Searching. Uh, analyzing, thinking, this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and this doesn't say that that shouldn't happen. There are no should and shouldn'ts. So everything is allowed to express as it is. This, this is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Because everything is nothing. <laughs> so right now there's nobody. There's nobody who's looking. There's no one who's there's nobody who's thinking. There's no doer. And then this message has got nothing to do with you, the one searching, because that one doesn't exist. It's just wholeness doing it. There's never been any uh, separate individual. There's just an imagination appearing in this. There's no separation. Separation is thought-based doesn't really exist. So, so uh, I'm sorry, Nkosi. Okay. Shall I speak? Yeah, yes, you can. <laughs> uh, Nkosi, could you please say something about uh, Joel's question about pain and how uh, uh, 
pain, uh, since uh, I have, I'm under the illusion that I have, that I am this body and that the, this pain uh, seems to relate to me only. Uh, and so therefore I think I have to do something about the, this pain. This pain is instantaneous. Uh, can you say something about that pain? Uh, uh, there might be pain, but that pain doesn't belong to anyone. And that pain as it is, just as it is, uh, is an expression of this. As I always say, there is nothing, there is nothing outside of this. There is no outside, everything is this. So that pain is just pain appearing. It may appear and disappear, but there's no owner of pain. There's no owner of pain. The me is not there already. The me is imagined. So pain might be there and uh, they may seem to be uh, help being offered you know, for a pain to subside or to go away. But that doesn't mean that uh, there is a, a real somebody who's doing that. That's just what's happening. So that pain has got nothing to do with somebody. It doesn't belong to anyone. It's just an expression of this. This arises as pain, anger, frustration, uh, fear, doubts. So all is this, just as it is. There is no individual who's feeling pain. That body is just a body. It doesn't belong to anyone. The one who says it's my body doesn't exist. This just wholeness. As pressing as that, expressing as pain, expressing itself as, as a thought, expressing itself as, as a wall, a chair, car, land, everything. So there isn't any separation. Exactly what, it's, what is happening right now has got nothing to do with you. It's just what's happening. And no one can know this because there's only this. Pauline looks giddy as a teenager at that news. <laughs> <laughs> So whatever may seem to happen, <laughs> it's just this happening. It's just wholeness. Everything's this. <laughs> there is no escape. The me is thought-based. And when thoughts are looked for, they are not even there. They seem to be in an appearance that never even appeared. So there is nothing here. There is no one here. And there's no here. Just this.
and their thoughts that seem to arise saying different things. <laughs> I'm about to get it. Oh, I'm not getting this. Another one may say, oh, this is bullshit. So <laughs> those are just thoughts. They don't mean anything. This doesn't go anywhere. This doesn't move. Yet movement may seem to appear. So there's, mm -hmm. there's really nowhere to go. There is no escape. This is immediate. This is effortless and obvious right here for no one. You can't get you can't get to this because this just this. <laughs> This doesn't require any thinking. This doesn't require any meditation. This doesn't require any effort at all. There is no effort here. There is no effort. It's just this right here. <laughs> doesn't require any second. It doesn't require even a zero. Everything that requires effort is always secondhand. It's the secondhand story that, that says there's me and I have something to do and I can, none of that actually exists. Only everything is really firsthand. This is firsthand. That's what we mean when we say this. So there isn't any pain, pain there's a there's a a feeling that is going to be here and it's also along with all the sound of the traffic and the zoom meeting and it's all this but if it's my pain that's the secondhand story and when it's pain that's something else besides you know that's separate from everything else then i can tell a story about it that's all secondhand And it's not happening. There's nothing, there's never anything to do about the second hand. I, I like that word, second hand. <laughs> yeah, second hand. It's a good one. It was Michael, <laughs> was, didn't you, Michael say that? No, no, I got it from Nkosi when, oh. <laughs> when he pointed out that Alice didn't choose her own name, that it was given to her. Right. Everything is secondhand, all the story, everything we know, it's the knowledge. Knowledge is secondhand. Yeah. There's no knowledge about this. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows what this is. And it's beautiful, just as, as it is. It's beautiful to itself.
doesn't look beautiful to the me because the me is too busy trying to do something about it. It doesn't notice anything beautiful. Yeah, it, the, me, the me has to ignore that wholeness is already the case. In a way, it's, 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 it would be comical if it wasn't so tragic because this, this, this ghost of a me is saying, don't tell me everything is already whole and complete and perfect just as it is because I'm too busy trying to fix the world and make it whole. <laughs> oh, boy. A, it's a beautiful story of a me that never even existed. <laughs> yeah, me is second hand. <laughs> right? Where did you learn the word me? I wonder oh, if, the, if there is a way to not teach the me to children, or is it a necessity to go to go through through the me? I don't know if Cozy knows something about that. Well, uh, there is already no me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. It's like a virus, ID virus uh, that we share uh, among humans, I guess. I don't know. ID? It's an ID that doesn't exist. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's just a thought. Yeah. A thought that says me as a body. I'm alive. I was born one day and I will die. That's a thought. All parents say that to their children, though. They gave them a date of birth and everything. It's a poisonous gift. <laughs> <laughs> It's a story that we seem to be telling to each other. The whole world seems to be telling the story that there's something called me, but that doesn't make it real. <laughs> we talk about Santa Claus too, right? That doesn't make yeah, Santa yeah. Claus. It. Yeah. That's part of the appearance, but yes, it doesn't. There's never been a me. <laughs> I just realized there is no Santa Claus me a few uh, weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, but Ghislaine, who who thought who didn't who didn't know? I mean <laughs> you 
you, you yeah. are, there never was a, a, a Ghislaine. So yeah, I know. you're telling a story about, oh, I didn't, uh, now I just found out that yeah. I didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. strange, eh? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like, uh, let me just make it an, another example. Uh, it's like saying uh, uh, those, uh, what you're wearing right now, those are raccoons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, raccoons. Yeah. They're real. They have nothing to say about the me. <laughs> yeah, but in actual fact, uh, they just, uh, that's a cloud. Yeah. Yeah. A cloud? Just wow. make an example. Okay. <laughs> to get it. <laughs> now, what he means, Kailane, is there's actually not a raccoon there. It's, it's just a blanket. It's just a cloud. Yeah, cloud. yeah, yeah. Yes. Sure. So, okay, yeah, well, it go far, eh? It goes yeah. far. Eh? It's like there is no children with names and birth date, and they won't have to to have any problem with their meeting. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's no one. There's no one, never been there anyone. No, yes, there are okay. no parents, there are no daughters, there are no brothers, <laughs> it's just this. I'm not even on the planet. No, no planet. No one to be in the no planet. Planets. No planet. There's nothing here. No nothing zoom here. appearing. No zoom in. yeah. There's just frustrating this. Frustrating thing is we... <laughs> the, the, the frustrating thing is we always want to know why this is happening. We are always asking why, why, why. Why, yeah. <laughs> Corey, only the me asks why. Me is always asking why because the me is trying to do some to fix it. It's trying to do something. I need to know why so I can fix it. So That's I can get rid of it. Me. <laughs> I'm asking why or how I can get rid of me. Yeah. Well, you can't. Because <laughs> you 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 aren't anywhere, you don't yeah yeah you don't exist. you're 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 not you're not secondhand. Or as Colleen said before, you're not even alive. We're all dead. We're all. And the story, yeah. empty, empty, yeah. empty. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a stream of 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 energy that seems to make all the appearance though because there's, there's something there's nothing but from what something appears and we cannot grasp it because it's too fast it's too immediate but there is nothing but from what something seems to appear isn't it? That's a me question. It's a me question, is it? All, all questions are me questions. Okay. You don't have any questions because you're not interested in second hand. Yeah. This doesn't know second hand. But that knows beauty of the, you know, the flow, the, the wave. I'm not, I'm, I'm not alone at, at, to feel like, <laughs> I don't know how to express that. It, there is not only silence and nothingness, there is fullness of from something goes to nothing and from nothing comes something. Is it 
Il dit de oui à. Yeah, it's, it's empty and full at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. Empty Maybe and it, full. it has no meaning, but there is like. Uh, uh, mm. uh, I don't have the words. <laughs> it's very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I'll improve. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I like what Dan said, the effort is always the me. Aliveness. Yeah, it's pretty nutty because it's wholeness seeking for wholeness. Any other last comments or questions before we close out this evening? Well, just to reiterate, um, wow, single. Um, the me is, it's seeking because it's, the me is a secondhand story. And it's, tr it's trying to find the first hand. It's trying to get to the real stuff. But it's, it's already created as a second, a second hand, which is something that isn't even real. And it's trying to find the real. So the, the first hand is always here. There's no need to find it. <laughs> it's not, there's no effort needed. There's nothing needed. So the, the me is always a secondhand story. That's all. Is that uh, Nozi gave uh, private sessions? Cozy? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, come again. Uh, do you give private sessions? Uh, yes, I do. You do? Oh, and how do we reach um, you? Are uh, you uh, on YouTube? On, on Messenger, yeah. On Facebook. Messenger, Facebook, okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> So this is wholeness expressing as, do you give privates? <laughs> it's just whatever's, happen whatever's happening. So that's why you can't go wrong. 
Just no escape. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, so, so thank much you. for thank coming. You. Thank you to those that sent in donations. Greatly appreciated. Everyone have a great night, and I'll get this up on YouTube in the next 24. Good night, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye.